<laughs> Here's something that possibly is bothering Zach Taylor, head coach of the Bengals, although it shouldn't. He said he won't speculate on the plans for T. Higgins, franchise tagged receiver, to participate in the offseason program. He's been franchise tagged and he hasn't accepted the tender. He is no more an employee of the Bengals right now, Chris, than you or me. That's where this whole, oh, it's voluntary, and I push back on Owen's voluntary. That's where that ends. There's no reason for T. Higgins to be there. He hasn't accepted the offer. He is exercising his prerogative to stay away from voluntary, mandatory. He can stay away from training camp. He can stay away from preseason. He can show up literally days before the start of the regular season and get his full $21.8 million. Guys have done that in the past. That is how you exert leverage when you're trying to get a team to give you the deal you're looking for. Yeah, that's right. I mean, that's, again, the, the player only has a certain certain few, like, avenues and ways and tools that they can negotiate and get leverage. This is one of them, right? This is one, though, that, like, I always look at it, I feel like we say this every year. I do want to be like, you know, no, let's not wait too long. Sign the damn thing. It's still $21 million. Let's not risk anything else, right? Just, again, I'm pro player that way. Right, you don't you don't have to go in even if you sign the tender, right? But protect yourself. That that would be the biggest thing for me. I think it protects yourself in a lot of different ways, and that's where I would I would hope T Higgins does it sooner rather than later. Uh, I feel like we talk about this with one guy almost every off season. Well, I can't imagine they'd rescind the tender. Remember last year we were actively arguing to Tony Pollard through this platform. Yes, right. Go sign your tender. Right. What happened? He did it the what next happened? day. He signed his tender the next day. Right. Because, I mean, t $10 million coming off of a broken ankle at right. the running back position? Right. Are you kidding me? I, for T. Higgins, 21-8, I don't know if they'd make him. It's an interesting question. If they would make him a free agent right now, and knowing what we know about the truth of the receiver market, all the Fugazi numbers, and it's really in the range of 23 per year, 23 and a half, 24 per year, you take away that fully guaranteed 21-8, I don't know what he's getting right now. Who's held back the money right now where they could go and sign him? Who's got the need that they haven't addressed? You know, the Browns wanted him, but Desh Deshaun Watson was saying how he wants him, but they, they traded for Jerry Judy and paid yeah, him. Right. So they're off the board. Yeah. I, I, you know, it's an interesting philosophical question. If they, I don't know that philosophical was the right word, but I'll go with it. If the Bengals would remove the franchise tag right now from T. Higgins, what would he get on the open market? Yeah, I, it is a good question. I think it's, you know, I think it's their top of the market type of money. I do. I think it's close, right? I, I'm not sure it, like, stands alone by itself, but I think it would dance around the other top numbers we saw and discussed yesterday, right, where, hey, it's not top of the market. It's close to it. You're a really good number one, but not a proven superstar number one yet. The market's continuing to go up, so you'll be left behind, but you're towards the top here right now. All right? I, I feel like that's what it would be. Right? Somewhere like close to what he's getting with the franchise tag. That's where it's to me, you know, he should feel a little differently than maybe, you know, a CD Lamb or Devontae Smith, like you've talked about with the fifth year option and all that kind of crap, which is just a, a different number altogether compared to the franchise tag. Um, but, yeah, that, that would be kind of my spidey senses take on that, Mike. I can't imagine that any teams would have a concern that T. Higgins would be like an Alvin Harper peerless price. You know, you get away from Jamar Chase. Right. And you can't be a number yeah. one guy. We've we've kind of accepted, and I think he's proven it's 1A and 1B. Or I, one I think and so. 1A in right. Cincinnati. Right. We saw what, I mean, the Minnesota game, right, on a Saturday yes, afternoon. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, just let's let's go back down memory lane there, sl Slugger. I was playing. Right? Jamar was Chase playing. wasn't playing in that game, if I remember correctly. Who he got injured? Who tore you guys up that afternoon? I mean, he just, what did he do? 180, 160? What was it that day? Do you remember exactly? I mean, it was up there. It was big it was, numbers. It was a strong performance that fueled a victory that helped grease the skids for the Vikings to not make it to the playoffs. Not that they would have made it past the wild card round, but at least it would have been something to show for a strange roller coaster season. But yes, he made the great catch at the end zone to tie the game up, I believe. Again, I was on a plane to New York, so I didn't have to. Uh, I'm a now. little low. Uh, it was four angry, for 61 with two touchdowns. Angry, angry text messages from my son once we landed right. in New York. Yeah. It, it, what T. Higgins had done. Yeah, so, four anyway. for 61, two touchdowns. And, yeah, he scored that late touchdown to tie the football game to ultimately 
the Bengals put the dagger in the Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> it's been eight years since a team has rescinded the franchise tag. The Panthers did it to Josh Norman after Super Bowl 50 in April, not long before the draft, and Washington swooped in and gave him a major contract. I don't know. It's I don't think the Bengals no, would they do want it. this. They want Higgins. They want one more run at the Super Bowl with this group, and they're trying to figure it out. I think you said that month yesterday, and I agree with you. This, this is more about keep it together one more year because we got something good. And, like, they're a little bit of that team we talk We're so elite on this side of the ball when we start going, we can make you play a different way because we're so good with Burrow, Chase, and Higgins and company. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.